Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I'm Black Bright, and this is going to be a different video because um, two people asked me a question about whether or not an overstayer can be a beneficiary of an insurance policy and a will. Now, in short, they can. There's nothing about your immigration status that prevents you from being a beneficiary. Um, let me just read out the first um, question. Um, and of course, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an immigration lawyer, I'm not a probate lawyer. So you need to get the advice from an immigration lawyer and and or a probate lawyer. But basically, um, the, he wrote, I have inherited a property from someone I was caring for, but I'm an overstayer. Will I be able to claim it if I go back to my country before he dies? Now, to me, that sounds a bit iffy because I'm thinking to myself, um, the, the, left, the uh, message was a bit longer, but I didn't want to go into all of it. But basically, this man has been caring for someone. He doesn't have any family. He doesn't have any friends and he doesn't have any children. His sp well, his, his spouse died about seven years ago. Now, this um, testator, he's the person who's written the will. He has decided that he's going to leave his estate to the carer. Now, my thing is, why I am a bit concerned is that if he's leaving his estate to the carer, it's because he's the only person he knows. And therefore, I would have thought he would expect that carer to continue caring for him. Now, if this carer is saying, OK, once he puts my name on the will, I'm chipping, I'm going back to my country. And can I come back and claim it? That's not right. Because that, you know, too many people take advantage of the elderly and of the vulnerable. And a lot of carers are in that position. A lot of carers care about people who are old and who are alone and who are leaving their estate to them. And, you know, because they haven't got anyone else. What the hell is that? Yeah, because they haven't got anyone else. Let me just close that down. Sorry about this. Yeah, because they haven't got anything, because they haven't got anyone else. And I kind of think to myself, you know, if that's the case, why would you be thinking about going to your country and then coming back to claim the estate? That's not right. You need to be there for that person to care about him because anyway, you could predecease him anyway, or he might decide once you chip, oh, I was only going to leave my estate to that carer because he was looking after me. Now he's gone. I'm going to change my I'm going to change my will. And he might give it to the next carer who comes along. I don't know. But all I'm saying is <clears throat> your intention should be honourable. If you're caring about somebody and they've got the, the goodness of heart, because he could have left it to a charity. But if he's got the goodness of heart to leave it to you, make sure you care about him, care for him and about him and treat him right and do right by him. That's all I'm saying. Apart from that, with regard to all the legal aspects of it, you need a probate attorney for this one. I don't know if um, you're going to need an immigration attorney because of your status, because there might be, um, I think you probably need some tax ID or social security number in order to claim it. So, I don't know about that. So like I said, you'll need to do that. Um, the second question was, what happens if you inherit, well, he said it, I, but what happens if I inherit a property in a will and I'm an overstayer? Well, like I said, should be able to inherit the property and remain in the family home, even though you have even though you've never applied for permanent residence. However, you don't have if you don't have a social security or tax ID, it could be difficult. Um, the thing with acquiring property also is that you have to be careful that you're not acquiring debt with it because um, it's all well and dandy getting a property. But is it credit free? Are you going to have to be paying money back is the mortgage paid off stuff like that but with regard to being an overstayer like i said your immigration status shouldn't matter um but 
I'm not quite sure how that works with tax because most of the income people earn, it should be taxed. And if you're an overstayer, it can't be taxed. But then again, I don't know if ta people even pay tax on probate, you know, on um, inheritance. I know if it's over like 350000 in the UK, you have to pay tax. But I'm not quite sure how it works in America. So like I said, you need a mo probate, um, probate lawyer and an immigration attorney. But the long and short of it is, yes, of course, you can be a beneficiary to a will, to property, to an insurance policy. So that's not a problem. It's all the nitty gritty in if you actually inherit and you don't predecease where there may be a problem. But um, I kind of think, well, my, when my father died, my sister was able to go to Jamaica and sort out that property there. So, yeah, of course, I think I'd imagine you can go any part of the world and anybody could. But there again, she was legal. So I don't think it's I don't think it makes a difference. Your immigration status It's whether or not or what you can do in order to um, make sure that what you're entitled to, you get. And the only way you can do that is through a probate attorney. I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, it's not my field of work. So I'm sorry I can't help you more than that. Bye bye.